Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. In this lesson, we'll learn about the Channel Windows Output section. The Output section has two displays, Main Outs and Internal Assignments, and Direct Outputs. First, we'll talk about the Main Outs Internal Assignments panel. The buttons at the top of the section are used to assign the channel to up to eight groups and eight matrix channels. A channel panner affects all post-panner source assignments. On mono channels, the panner moves the source to the left and right. Stereo channels have two panners that are used to control the left and right pan values independently. Adjusting them together is stereo rotation, which moves a stereo image within a soundscape while retaining its image and width. Select or hold Control and then drag to change the width. When the width is reduced to zero, the send is mono. Panners can cross each other, which reverses the stereo image. Moving only one panner widens or narrows the stereo image asymmetrically. The colored area between the panners indicates rotation and width. A yellow circle tells you whether the pan balance knob or the rotator is being controlled. When the panner knob is touched, the box indicates values for panner position, balance, stereo width, or stereo rotation. When the fader is touched, its position is shown. Left-right output assignment is post-pan. Mono and center assignments are post-fader. There is also a peak meter. The main out mute button mutes all sends and outputs. The Q bus send is not muted. Use this panel to assign the channel to any of eight mute groups. The link panel is used to assign the channel to up to 16 links. Controls of linked channels operate together. When a channel is assigned to a link group, it is also assigned to a DCA fader, which can remotely control the trim values of a group of faders. To learn more about links and DCAs, Refer to Lesson 4.12, Links Mixer Layer. The Q button activates Q or Solo for channels and groups. In Q mode, selected channels and buses are sent to the Q bus. In Solo mode, the button activates Solo in Place, which mutes all other channels. The buses assigned to a soloed channel will not be muted. The keyboard icon brings up the operating system's on-screen keyboard. Use this to enter text information when a hardware keyboard is not available. There are also latching Alt and Control modifier keys. Click here to open the Channel's Direct Output section. Add opens a drop-down menu of the IOs and drivers that are assigned in the mixer inventory racks. Click on an I.O. to add it to the list of channel direct outputs. I.O.s that are already assigned are grayed out. Delete removes an I.O. from the list. Use the Delay Groups drop-down menu to assign the selected I.O. to a delay group. This value box displays the user-defined delay of the selected delay group. Delay is discussed in detail in its own video, Lesson 6.5, Delay and Delay Compensation. The I.O. trim knob adjusts the signal that's sent to the selected I.O. device. Trim level is displayed in the value box. These buttons set the signal flow source for output to all I.O.s assigned to this channel. This has been a tour of the output section of the eMotion LV1 channel window. In the next lesson, we'll learn about the channel window queue and solo modes. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.